हेलो प्रकाश Ayansh Vibha hello we have a minute uh nice to see that people are already here so i'll start exactly at 6 o'clock Good evening, Sachin. Oh, so many people. Shalendu, Sailesh, Shahji. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. I'm very happy to be here, and I'm. Uh, very thankful to skinnovation for bringing me back to facebook i am a bit of a social media recluse and uh, i i am dr rajita damasetty i am a dermatologist i had a chain of 22 clinics uh, known by the name of oliva hair and skin clinics and we have presence uh, across south india bangalore chennai hyderabad kochi and we also have uh, clinics in pune and kolkata and i have the privilege of uh, having trained around uh, 150 plus dermatologists as of now i work with a huge team of 85 plus dermatologists and uh, one of the common things that we deal with day in and day out are dark circles so uh, so many people saying hello i'm going to look at the chat section after a while so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to set my timer for 25 minutes because i am planning to talk For twenty-five minutes about certain uh, important aspects, what causes dark circles, how we can treat them in the clinic, what people can do in their homes, what kind of lifestyle changes would benefit people with dark circles, what dark circles imply in terms of uh, their general health and well-being. So I would be talking about all these things, and then I will be taking uh, a look at the chat section, and I would be. more than happy to answer questions a few childhood friends of mine have been threatening that they're going to be uh, watching so if you all are there good evening hello and uh, don't pull my leg later so dark circles are quite important for a uh, many people and not just for the people who want to look good because uh, even if i'm not really concerned about how good i look I don't really want to be perceived as being tired, being sad, or worse still, being depressed, or uh, again looking aged. So I have a, a a patient who has now become a friend. She's a gynecologist. She's an extremely fit lady, very fashionable, very well dressed. And she came to me and said, uh, "I have dark circles, and uh, I'm feeling very bad about it." I was surprised. Then I realized she had really bad dark circles when she removed her makeup. So she became an expert in using makeup because people kept asking her, "Are you happy with your husband? Is everything okay in your life?" These kind of things are not things that you want to uh, hear from uh, your friends and relatives. So dark circles uh, mean a lot more to people than just not looking good. and even for us doctors dark circles have a lot of implications so uh, they are you know they go by so many names in our uh, technical terms and the important uh, point being that many of uh, these things are because of true pigmentation and but not all dark circles are actually caused by true pigmentation so starting from the genes that you have inherited to the kind of sun exposure to have, you have had to your hormonal status be it your thyroid be it your insulin resistance or just your frank diabetic status all these make a uh, important uh, effect on the eyelid area and also various local factors in the skin like allergies allergies to eye cosmetics you'd be surprised to hear that 
allergy to nail paint would frequently present with itching on the eyelid which can eventually turn into a, a pigmentation around the eye so various allergies or just our bad lifestyles just water retention because of various factors including a poor thyroid function or various aging changes any of these things can cause dark circles so what i like to do when i take my dermatologist trainees through this topic is i like to classify it though but i want to start off by telling you that the most important things here are number one genetics second aging and when i tell a young person who's barely 25 or so that their dark circles are caused by aging then they find it very strange but uh, please remember that aging starts of course from the time we are born but aging starts showing almost from the age of 25 to 30 depending on how healthy your lifestyle is and if you notice most asians especially most indians we start losing fat in these areas we start developing a hollow in that area in our early to mid 20s and that hollow starts appearing like a dark circle so we people we dermatologists call it the tear trough so i have given fillers in this area for people as young as 22 and 24 uh, either as a run up to their marriage for brides but also for people who were being tested by their friends that they are not looking healthy by their parents that they are not sleeping well you know there are some people whose dark circles get better when they sleep well when they are well rested when they are not stressed but there are many people who dark whose dark circles persist even if they are very well rested even if they you know they eat well they exercise they use their sunscreen so they seem to be doing everything right and still the problem persists so these are the people who need to come to the dermatologist the others don't need to so as i'm talking as and when your questions come up you may please post them there so now what uh, uh, one more important thing that we need to remember here is that dark circles have a dynamic nature so there are many factors that change with the time of the day and for women with the time of the month so if you're particularly dehydrated that may show up and uh, if there is water retention like premenstrually it may happen so then the dark circle may look more prominent and uh, towards the end of the day the dark circle may start getting more prominent but the most common cause of dark circles and this has been shown by some very good indian studies as well is what we call as a melanin inside the dermis now skin has grossly two layers i don't know why lay people like to say that it has six layers it it has epidermis the top layer and dermis the deep layer and uh, the most common cause of dark circle is pigment in the dermis and this is a very important point because no matter which cream you use this pigment is not really going to go away if it is a pigment in the top layer of the skin the epidermis then you have many creams i'll talk about those which can help but the deep pigment is something that either you accept and you live with or you go to a dermatologist who is an expert in doing lasers around the eyes who can put in something known as a metallic corneal eye shield so that the laser can be done without damaging your eye it's a tricky thing not that many people are there in the country who can do that so if you have to uh, if you are very concerned about that do seek help and go to someone who's qualified so the most common cause is that and what causes that condition again number 1 genetics number 2 aging and so uh, it it kind of sounds sad when these are the two main causes because it, both these things we can't help now we have not chosen our parents and we have to age because time passes and we cannot stop time so uh, is there nothing that you could do about it no certainly not so this is uh, a good opportunity for me to talk about my favorite thing i i love sugar but i love talking about not eating sugar so there is something known as 
insulin resistance that is extremely common in our uh, in Indians, more so in probably South Indians, but across in most South Asians, in fact. And uh, how do we know that? So we know that because one, we are going to be the diabetic cap capital of the world, and uh, I have this unfortunate. Uh, circumstance of being from Hyderabad where which is supposed to be the diabetes capital of the country and no wonder because we eat that kind of biryani we eat that much of rice so this high carb diets are going to add to the aging process so there's something called AGEs advanced glycation and products where these little sugar molecules get attached to your collagen to various proteins in the skin and they make them age faster and believe me if your skin is aging faster than it should then so is your heart and so is your kidney and your brain and everything because skin is basically nothing but a mirror of what is happening inside the whole body so you don't want to get into those kind of situations so uh, one take home at this point of time for you is refined sugar is the enemy cut cut it down as much as you can so uh, so the, the, uh, now is there anything else that you could do to uh, uh, reduce the effect of your genes and the aging process yes by eating the right amount of calories or in fact eating a little less than you require suppose for my age and height and weight I need 2000 calories if I can eat just 1800 then I'm going to give live longer and healthier and I'm going to look younger as well then exercise so please get your 150 minutes every week that is 30 minute slots minimum five times a week and no two consecutive days break and please don't even ask me how many times I've exercised since lockdown I'm not going to tell you because I've not exercised at all and I'm going to start tomorrow and tomorrow is is really tomorrow so uh, that is one thing that you Please keep in mind for now. I'm going to talk about uh, many more things that you should be doing in just a bit. So one other important factor is that the skin may be normal uh, it, in terms of pigment. But in terms of thickness, it has lost the thickness. Because with age, we lose collagen. And also with age, we lose fat in these areas. Unfortunately, fat doesn't go from where it has to. It goes if in areas where it should remain so once the fat and the collagen are gone the skin becomes very transparent and whatever muscles are underneath whatever blood vessels are underneath will start showing up and the vascular component we call it the vascular component because this is from the blood vessels is a vascular component is extremely important in screen related dark circles so what do I mean by that so uh, most of us are using screens day in and day out. There was a time when only software engineers would use computers. Now every child has his or her own personal entertainment device, either a laptop or a phone or an iPad, tablet, whatever. And constantly we are looking at these screens which emit light. And when I read from a screen, as opposed to reading from a book. See, when I read from a book, I'm going to blink. When I read from a screen, I'm going to stare. So if I'm going to stare, then the tear film, the tears that are secreted, are not going to be distributed evenly. So the eyes do get strained. And as a part of this process, this fine blood vessels, fine capillaries, which actually break and hemorrhage, and you see that collection of what we know call hemosiderin it's a pigment that's related to hemoglobin so that starts accumulating so no wonder that all this generation is getting dark circles much faster than uh, the previous generation so what do we do about this so one reduce screen time that's easy to say hard to follow but also give breaks so every hour make sure now if your job involves using a computer uh, then please make sure every hour you set the alarm and you close your eyes you take a walk around your cubicle or your house if you're working from home whatever and do use artificial tear supplements if you have to 
most of us especially those of us who use contact lenses typically have a lot of eye dryness which makes this whole thing much worse so practice screen hygiene whenever you can make it a habit these have to be lifestyle changes there are no uh, shortcuts for uh, this business i see that many more people are joining in and i'm going to say hello to you all in a bit because i don't want to break the flow so that is about the screens effects on dark circles the vascular or the blood vessel factors uh, that affect uh, the nature of dark circles then the a uh, little more about uh, aging in detail so how actually does aging impact dark circles so i am not saying this in a particular order but when you start aging in your early 20s or so first thing you start losing fat over here that is known as the soof and when that goes you get a tear trough second with time ultraviolet rays are going to affect your skin and that is going to cause pigment in the deep layers and then thirdly your skin will start having wrinkling or lines with age so once you have skin that is kind of bunched up that is going to look darker than when it was stretched nicely so stretched out skin is going to look uh, more even and lighter than bunched up crinkly skin so aging is going to impact in these days but there's also one more extremely important thing particularly for the women who are watching with age we lose bone and women lose a uh, bone much faster than men and uh, deliveries and uh, preg pregnancy more so especially if you are not supplementing your calcium will lead to a faster deterioration of your uh, bone density so what happens with time is that the orbital cavity which is like this with time would widen because you've lost bone and when you lose bone and your orbital cavity widens then the eyeball goes in when the eyeball goes in obviously there is going to be a shadowed appearance of the uh, skin so what do we do about this one weight bearing exercises and get your calcium intake right i personally am not a great believer of supplements but sadly most of us don't get enough calcium through our food so we do have to take uh, supplements uh, from an early age not after eating uh, 45 and getting into the menopausal stage so i see some questions coming up uh, ashish we i will please be bear with me for a bit i am going to address all your questions in a bit once i finish uh saying the things that i kind of uh, prepared so uh, one more very important factor that can cause dark circles is hormonal imbalance or nutritional deficiencies so when it comes to hormones the number one hormone that i would talk about here would be thyroid and you all know that thyroid dysfunction is an extremely common problem so if i have a patient who has dark circles obviously i'm going to examine but i would most probably ask for a thyroid test and i would also uh, ask for a insulin assay a insulin test especially if this person happens to have a dark neck and dark underarms so there is a condition known as acanthosis nigricans which sometimes can be visible mainly around the eyes and my patient wouldn't have no way of knowing that the darkening of the underarm and the neck and the darkening around the eyes is actually related to the excess fat that she or he has around the tummy so uh, thyroid and insulin are important and causes of dark circles and when it comes to nutritional factors from anemia most commonly caused by iron deficiency now most indian women are iron deficient either they are frankly anemic or they do not have enough iron store even if the hemoglobin is not so bad and then you have an exceedingly common vitamin deficiency b12 deficiency so vitamin b12 is something that is not there in any plant food and you know that most of us indians are either pure vegetarians 
or even if we are non vegetarians we do not eat meat very frequently maybe we eat meat once or twice a week and maybe a few eggs once in a while and maybe three four eggs in a week so lots of times we find that this is not enough to maintain the b12 levels also many of us have uh, a absorption problem and that prevents uh, the body from absorbing the b12 that you are actually taking so for vegetarians particularly remember that uh, milk and milk products are going to be the main source of b12 now the problem with milk is that most adults don't actually do well with milk it is not even advised and milk can worsen insulin resistance if you have it in large quantities so up to 200 250 ml that's a glass of milk or so is okay but not more than that so then what are you left with you left with yogurt you left with buttermilk and curd and even paneer is a pretty decent source so if i have to talk about uh, the deficiencies i would mainly concentrate on iron and b12 and when it comes to hormones it's thyroid and insulin so these are the most important factors so if you think that you know you have this dark circle which is slowly increasing with age you have a family history then you don't have to rush to the doctor but you feel that you know it is kind of disproportionate to your age you are actually doing things right your lifestyle is good and still you find this then probably it's a good idea to consult somebody and uh, one important factor to note here is that it is extremely common to have more than one cause of dark circle so a typical patient of mine could have following under tear trough and some amount of acanthosis nigricans that is thickening of the skin and some amount of true pigment because of aging and maybe a frictional component because this person is rubbing the eyes so it so dark circles are actually not some simple thing and i uh, i'm going to stress this because may i know that many of you would be looking for a very simple shortcut kind of a solution so friends remember that very few things in the world have uh, good shortcuts that work M- many of them don't don't have shortcuts you will have to take the long winding route uphill uh, to get to a good solution and uh, one important uh, aspect here that i want to stress on is the kind of eye cosmetics that one would use so uh ayan has asked an extremely nice question interesting question i'll come to that so eye cosmetics which are not of good quality which may be contaminated with heavy metals like lead can cause dark circle so remember that not everything that is handmade and homemade is good no it, no i am not endorsing the big brands but one advantage when you go to a big brand is that you are assured that there is some basic check going on because these are people who are going to be scared of getting sued whereas if you have some local thing where the manufacturer's address is also not written there is no proper label nobody has license given them a license to market so there i would be scared so especially for eye cosmetics please be very careful and do spend good money or don't use it at all you cannot compromise on uh, the quality of things you apply on your face but certainly not on the eyes now sometimes certain medicines can worsen it and uh, at this point i remember one patient of mine she was a very young girl she was barely 21 21 22 and she came to me with pretty badly damaged skin she had dark circles and she also had a reddish purple it was not so much of brownish as reddish purple dark circle and her whole face was very blotchy and uh, it looked irritated skin was peeling it was flaky and i dug into the history now sadly i knew what the diagnosis was as soon as i saw her because i had seen many of this kind but this was an extreme case so this girl had dark circles and she went to the neighborhood drug store i can't even call it a pharmacy so oh yeah so the medical store and there the friendly person sitting at the desk of the medical store gave her a cream and she used it and guess what this cream had it had a strong steroid so this young girl had used this steroid containing cream around her eyes and her whole face for almost 8 9 months 
and then she realized that with the cream her skin was getting irritated without this cream she was getting much darker and even more irritated so she was basically addicted to this steroid cream so it took me a while i had to slowly wean her off now when you have a drug addict and uh, you can't suddenly stop the drug so it took us a lot of effort and with great difficulty we managed to get rid of the steroid induced damage but the problem is that this young girl has a family history and she's got a deep kind of a uh, pigmentation so i eventually once her skin becomes ready for the procedure i would be planning a laser for her but then i it took me ages to tell her that this is not the right way because she would say the moment i use that cream it gets better yes these are temporary things so whenever there's anything magical happening temporarily please beware that is not a good effect so uh, i am going to start summing up because my alarm is now going off i've spoken for 24 minutes so far so dark circles to sum up can be caused by a hollow and how do we treat the hollow is there anything that you can do at home to treat it no nothing really but if you go to the dermatologist then they can inject something called a filler and uh, that can be corrected now these fillers typically have something called hyaluronic acid hyaluronic acid is a part of our own body so it is not a foreign object now i understand that it can seem very scary but for us it is not a complicated procedure uh i can comfortably do one in maybe 7 to 8 minutes and that is because i'm you know slowly talking to the patient and comforting them and telling them don't be scared and stuff like that and this we would do with cream anesthesia or without also and uh, somebody brought up the issue of puffiness so puffiness also can give you an illusion of dark circles so puffiness is actually caused by two two kinds of things one is the fat bag that should have been inside the eyeball has come out so we call it intra orbital fat so normally the fat in the skin is keeping this fat inside but the fat in the skin is gone because of aging because of bad lifestyle genes whatever so this bag has come out and as long as that is there then it creates a kind of shadow so in extreme cases you could go to ocular plastic surgeon and get up get that removed but uh, mostly we can manage the early ones by doing a gentle filler so that we are able to push it back where it belongs so uh, somebody had asked a question about dark circles so this is a part of that answer now if what do we do if there is a true increase in pigment now true increase in pigment is again of two kinds ha ah, so one is the superficial pigment the top layer those respond quite well to creams and what kind of creams can you use can you use any generic skin lightening cream on the eyelid certainly not because the eyelid skin is extremely thin eyelid has the thinnest skin in the entire body so there are certain ingredients that you want to look for botanical ingredients like curcuminoids now you all know what turmeric is so these are derived from turmeric so there are various other ingredients that are present in eye creams in low concentrations they do help as does something known as retinol so retinol is a anti aging uh, ingredient which also lightens the skin to an extent if the pigment is in the top layer now one important thing about puffiness that i forgot to mention is if fat is the problem you could treat it with a filler injection or the surgery but if it is water retention then none of these can treat it so there we will have to find out why this person is retaining water is it a problem with the kidney problem with the thyroid or is it some other hormonal problem so those things we will have to understand also with time sometimes you have a little problem in the lymphatic uh, drainage of the area that also can cause puffiness in these areas so true pigment if it is superficial you know what to do the cream if it is deep then there is not much you could do except use a good concealer or just accept it and sometimes you have these nice creams or lotions which have a tint adjuster so it is something like a you know it is 
working to reduce the pigment but it's also kind of acting like a concealer because it tends to match it to the normal skin so those are the products that you want to look for then if your problem is increased transparency of skin or the vascular factors one practice screen hygiene take breaks from the screens use artificial tear uh, substitutes and again maybe uh, if you are particularly concerned consult a good dermatologist and get it treated with uh, uh, injectable now skin thickening or skin fold so if you have insulin resistance you can have very dark circles and that can be treated by lifestyle changes by a certain medication depending on what your insulin levels are and what your uh, blood sugar ratio to the insulin is and we can also do some very good chemical peels to reduce that and sometimes you have uh, crinkly skin creepiness of skin so for that what do we do early stages we give a cream or a gel typically with retinol in later stages again we have uh, energy based devices something known as micro needling radio frequency where you have uh, bunches of 25 needles going in and stimulating your own collagen now i can imagine how scary that sounds but believe me it is uh, it's quite easy i mean at least it's very easy to do that much i can tell you and it's not all that difficult to get it done also because i have i've done lots of those and i've had them done to myself as well so uh, i am going to start summing up uh, so first thing is to understand what is causing the dark circle whether it's nutritional problem whether it is a, a endocrine or a hormonal problem it is whether it is a simple genetic factor it is aging and uh, it is important that we treat the cause certain causes are easier to treat than others like things like thyroid are extremely easy you just pop a pill and you're good things like insulin resistance and are, are not so easy because it involves much more than popping a pill it involves uh, eating right in terms of calories in terms of avoiding sugars in terms of uh, maintaining the caloric balance Uh, losing abdominal fat not just losing weight because there can be some people whose weight is normal whose body mass index is normal and by the way for indians the ideal body mass index is not 25 it is 23 so that means if you are 54 you should be no more than 58 kg 58.8 to be precise and i know these numbers because i keep calculating them all the time in the clinic and so that's about insulin resistance iron deficiency b12 deficiency typically will need a supplement sometimes b12 deficiency can be so severe that uh, injections are required and uh, finally what treatments are you going to do to the skin per se so important to remember to apply sunscreen there and do invest in uh, large sized uh, good uv protective uh, goggles or shades because ultraviolet rays are the ones that cause trouble now uh, the topicals the creams that you use on the eyes you have to be extremely careful make sure that it is labeled now how does a lay person know which cream is good for the eye you cannot know that so please look for the label make sure it is labeled for eye otherwise don't use it so what is meant for the skin it is generally not safe to be used on the eye unless a dermatologist has studied it and has recommended it and uh, for the in clinic treatments from peels to lasers to uh, fillers now we have multiple kinds of fillers to what we known as energy based devices micro needling radio frequency we can do so many things but it's important that you find the right person and the right person is not the friendly neighborhood pharmacy bhaiya who is going to give you a steroid cream without telling you what it is no that is not the right person to treat your dark circles so i'm i'm going to start uh, answering the questions oh ravi hello great to see some old friends i am doing well hope you're good too so uh, ashish verma has asked do eye masks help in reducing dark circles thank you so much for that question ashish i was going to come to that so so many um, eye masks and home remedies from frozen tea, tea bags to cucumbers to potatoes to 
I don't know what else. Uh, none of them are really going to help. They may make you feel better because of the cooling effect, but it is just that effect on the mind and a little soothing in terms of the cooling. But pigmentation, would it get better? No. Puffiness, immediately if you use something cold, for that little while, that puffiness may shrink transiently. But then when you remove it and then you go about your routine work, it's going to come back. So at best, it can be a very temporary effect. Now, can under eye puffiness be cured without fillers? So without fillers, the option is only surgery, Ayansh. And I'm sure you're not happy to hear that. But uh, I believe in being brutally honest over here because I, I would rather you don't waste your time on doing all these silly things which don't help much. You would rather invest your time in focusing on a good lifestyle because that is going to uh, really pay, pay off. And uh, so uh, various, uh, I, uh, by the way, eye masks with hyaluronic acid and all, transiently they can hydrate the skin because uh, uh, the eyelid skin can be quite dehydrated. So the transient effect may be there. So if you're going to use one every week or so, it is certainly not going to harm you. That much I can say about eye masks. But they're not going to have a great effect in the long run. Now is pigmentation... Uh, reversible rajni depends on the cause of the pigmentation now many times pigmentation is reversible sometimes if it is caused by aging then also we can actually treat it but again it will start accumulating so you will have to maintain it by using sunscreen by your right uh, lifestyle and things like that now uh, mohit is asking uh, is dark uh, are dark circles related to poor nutrition and stress so now, I did not talk about stress in this because stress is a very complicated issue. And uh, so are there any good studies to show that stress worsens dark circles? No, because see, I am a dermatologist. I cannot talk random stuff. I have to talk what is evidence-based and scientific. But we know that poor sleep can transiently worsen. Poor nutrition related to stress can indirectly worsen that. Because if you are stressed, then your body's insulin production will increase. And that can indirectly affect it. Also, stress can work in many ways. Through insulin, through accelerating the aging process, through affecting the food that you take, to affecting quality of sleep, so many things. Now, Shailendra has asked an excellent question. How much role does TV have? Actually, TV doesn't have much of an effect because you're not watching TV from this up. Now, it depends on what you're talking about TV. I'm talking about traditional TV that is, you know, you, it is at least eight feet away from where you're sitting. So that is, does not affect it. But any of these personal devices which are closed, like a personal computer, like a tablet device, like a phone. So these do worse in dark circles because when you're reading from these, you're not blinking enough. And why don't you blink enough? Because there's light emitting, being emitted from this at such close quarters. So uh, they can worsen it because there are going to be these tiny little capillary bleeds which lead to accumulation of something known as hemosiderin. So what is the solution for that? The solution is, Shailendra, to reduce screen time. So reducing screen time has only benefits and hardly anything negative. But then many of us need to work using these gadgets for our as a part part of our work routine. So what do we do about it? So there, take a break every one hour and then use artificial teardrops. So uh, Manu Sharma is asking, few products are available with tint. What are the benefits of tint in dark cell? Excellent question, Manu. I realized that I was not very clear in uh, explaining that. So the tint does not treat dark circle. It only helps in concealing the dermal pigmentation because you have to understand that Dermal pigmentation, no cream is going to help. But at least it will not look as bad when you have the cream on. That is the only benefit, man. And how long can it be used? It can be used forever. There is no problem at all. Now, one very important thing I want to tell you here, that you have pretty good quality makeup uh, available now. And uh, you could use it for life. The only thing is, you please make sure that you don't leave it on when you are going to bed. So just remove it off. Now Ashish is asking, 
when we choose retinol based products what point should we keep in mind because some retinol can give irritation absolutely right ashish that's a very good point now we indians actually do not tolerate a lot of retinoids very well so please look for a retinol either in a micro sponge or a nano sized formulation so the formulation will have all these things and always it makes sense to start using it on alternate days and if you have very sensitive skin or if you have asthma or dust allergy it makes sense to use it only twice a week once you're comfortable then make it thrice a week and then start using it daily and one more important uh, precaution that you could do is don't use strong cleansers because when you use a strong cleanser your eye area is going to be uh, the barrier there is going to be damaged and on top of that you apply retinol then there is going to be more of a problem so fine so you choose a formulation that is micro sized or a nano size micro sponge kind of a formulation look at the concentrations make sure it's labeled for the eye because skin retinols have much more concentration than the eye one and use extremely little maybe one fourth pea sized amount for all four lids together and uh, initially when you apply maybe for a minute or two you can have some tingling but if it's burning a lot you know that there is something wrong then you have to wash it off so gentle cleanser and one more important thing that you could do is use it on top of moisturizer initially once you're very comfortable then switch the order so initially moisturizer first 5 minutes later the retinol and later on the retinol first and then five one hour later the moisturizer but never ever make the mistake of mixing in your palm the moisturizer and the retinol because then the concentrations are going to be uh, changed the formulations might not be compatible so ayan she is saying do i don't have dark circles because of under eye puffiness is there any cream that you could recommend unfortunately ayan not really because creams are not very effective in uh, reducing uh, eye puffiness for superficial pigment creams work well so uh, uh, good evening samrat samrat has a friend who's getting married next month and uh, congratulations to her her dark circles are big in size and swelling a bit so when i applying something on it maybe it is makeup is there something is there any cream how to reduce the effect of it so it could be makeup now if makeup is not made of the right ingredients especially the black eye pencils uh, so there's something known as surma that traditionally people used to make which can contain lead so i would be very cautious i would not want to use it so you would want to tell her to switch to good brand good quality makeup make sure she removes it so that the eyes don't get irritated and she doesn't rub it in the middle of the night but uh, on this forum i cannot name any brands but i can i would be able to text you something but generally what we like to do is we like to understand what is happening to a particular person what the causes might be and then uh, advise so what are the tier, uh, treatment options available for tear trough uh, thank you for that question aniket so for tear trough the ideal thing is to put in a filler but what happens is once you are past 30 when i see a tear trough in a 35 year old let's say i am not going to put filler over here to begin with i am going to put filler here maybe i am going to put filler here as well because what uh, i have to treat it from the basement if the wall is leaky i'm not just going to paint it i'm going to go in find out where the leak is fix the leak and then paint it again so if i see a tear trough in a young person around 25 less than 30 then probably i'm going to just inject over here whereas if i see it in an older person then i'm going to put in a filler over here over here that's the mid face and then i'm going to inject over here and Uh, these fillers typically last around one and a half to two years. They're extremely safe. Simple things like a bruise can happen because this is an area which is full of blood vessels, and uh, th- that would go off in maybe anywhere between three to seven days. Now, Sachin, you have dark circles, and you're working for four to five hours in front of the laptop. So, how can you reduce your dark circles? So, important more than a cream, Sachin, I would advise you to start using tear supplements. artificial tears 
and i will uh, text one simple cream uh, offline and uh, ritesh wants to know what do you suggest to uh, for children who continuously watch mobile tell me about it i and they also get dark circles i i have a 15 year old who's addicted to the ps4 and uh, of course if he gets the chance then mobile as well so i know what you're talking about now do you want to give some cream to children who have dark circles not really but it is important to get their refraction check okay and again limit screen time it is a constant challenge uh, but you have no choice but to limit screen time now a child's dark circle if it is hereditary then i would maybe take it less seriously but if the family members do not have dark circles or if there's a strong history of thyroid uh, problem in the family if the child is putting on weight maybe the child is not as active as he should be or she should be then i would want to look at the thyroid status i would certainly want their eating habits to improve so eat basically iron and b12 and cutting down on sugars so but for a child would i really eat advise some kind of a cream for the cosmetic effect not really because the child is generally quite comfortable with that they are happy watching their mobiles it is the parents who are uh, worried about these things so uh, and for children the solution is not tear uh, artificial tear supplements now for someone like sachin whose job involves that that is a different story child doesn't need to watch the mobile nobody is paying the child to watch the mobile in fact we are probably ready to bribe the child not to watch so i would not be comfortable suggesting some kind of a cream for that so i guess we have had uh, enough of a discussion now uh yes samrat so sun ex- so he samrat travels a lot sun exposure is an extremely important factor in dark circles so that is the main cause of this so called dermal pigmentation the deep pigmentation which is the most common variety of dark circle so yes sunscreen can work in preventing further damage samrat but what is already there is not going to go so remember whenever you apply your sunscreen please apply it over here also and ideally use broad shades now if you are already wearing correction glasses that might be difficult but if you are not Or if you're wearing contact lenses, then please go ahead and invest in some good quality UV protective goggles, which uh, cover the whole eye orbit area. We call it, you know, right till here. Now I know that it is in uh, fashionable to have those micro sunglasses, uh, but they are not going to be very helpful. So sunscreen, Samrat, how much are you going to use? So you should be using for your face alone a little more than one fourth teaspoon. If it is a lotion. or if it is a cream or a gel cream now fingertip unit from here to here so you will have to take that much and a little more so one and a quarter fingertip units of sunscreen if it is a gel or a cream or a little more than 1/4 teaspoon of sunscreen for just the face including the eyes now one problem with sunscreens is that if you apply it too close certain sunscreens can cause irritation of the eyelid or they can just make your eyes start uh, producing excess tears so you will have to choose a good sunscreen carefully and make sure you don't put it right in but you could apply till there and if especially if you're going to sweat a lot and then the sunscreen goes into the eye then that can be a problem so you would want to choose a sunscreen that is water resistant that doesn't run off when you start sweating but thank you so much for that question samrat so i guess we've had a decent enough discussion on this so i'm going to start summing up so home remedies what is it that you can do is there anything that you could apply for psychological satisfaction a tea bag or a cucumber it does no harm but something like a steroid cream that some or some unknown cream unlabeled cream that your uh, neighborhood beautician prepared one herbal cream so called thing without a manufacturing date batch number no those are not things that you want to use anywhere and certainly not on the eyelid the second thing is good skin care regimen so a good cleanser and a mild soap also can be a good cleanser 
basically you want something that is ph balanced and moisturizer because most of us do have rather dry skin and we are constantly spending our time in acs without humidifiers and those of us in places like hyderabad and delhi have very dry uh, summers so you would want to invest in a good moisturizer make sure you use it there sunscreen whenever you go out or nice broad uv protective sunglasses and when you choose a cream make sure it is labeled for the eye and make sure that you start using it in a gradual manner so start off with alternate days or twice a week and then increase and uh, if it is burning a lot then don't use it look for retinol that's an excellent uh, agent now there's so many people who love their vitamin c it's i am not a great fan though it is certainly harmless but most important tip for dark circles is please watch your weight watch your waist get your exercise 150 minutes a week five times a week into 30 minutes each time of active time and when i say exercise i am not talking about a stroll leisurely stroll with your friend i am talking about something that gets your heart rate up to the ideal target heart rate now what is your target heart rate i do not know it will depend on your age so i know my target heart rate for my age and if i am able to exercise Uh, and maintain the target heart rate for 30 minutes at a stretch five times a week that is the best thing that i could do for my heart for my skin both eyes face everything and the kidney and everything so you a uh, good healthy life is what you're talking about then coming to diet sugar is the enemy avoid that refined flour we uh, i am from andhra and we love our rice we eat mounds of it it's terrible the kind of quantities that we can polish off so white rice maida white refined sugar terrible stuff so you want to reduce the quantities limit the carbs watch the overall calories and do concentrate on iron and b12 rich food and uh, uh, also uh, whenever you go to a doctor go to somebody qualified and listen to them out so you might or might not choose to do the filler or the energy based device and all that but at least you know that uh, spending a lot of money on online shopping and getting all those weight creams is not going to help you if the problem is a tear trap or if the problem is a dermal or a deep pigmentation so i hope you had some takeaways from uh, this 50 minute monologue that i've been giving i i hope all of you take good care of yourselves stay safe in corona times and later also i'm going to end this thank you so much for watching and those of you those friends who are watching please whatsapp me we'll catch up